Hi, I'm Tadao of Madatsukaeru Day. Madatsukaeru Day is Japanese meaning you can still use it. So, let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Okay, uh, these are the new hoses I got and comparing with the old one, it looks same. I hope the fitting is also same. An interesting thing is the this uh, discharge horse is for 93 Cherokee, but the this liquid horse, the, according to the manufacturer website, it doesn't fit. Uh, actually, it fits from the 94 to through 96 Jeep Cherokee, but the looks like this is gonna fit to the 93 Jeep Cherokee also, and uh, that's probably because of the upgrade to the uh, R134 system. So original 93 Jeep Cherokee uses R12. So that might be the difference. But the this Four Seasons uh, tube is certified for the R134. So it should be safe to use it. And these are the two valves I purchased. Uh, four season part number is 14718 for high pressure side and 14720 for low pressure side. And I checked this uh, quick coupling works with the existing uh, the manifold and it, it's valve came with the o-rings that's great and I'm gonna test this uh, fitting I think they're gonna fit to the compressor okay I'm gonna put the new condenser yes this is very delicate all right Okay, now I'm gonna loosen the belt and remove the belt and replace this uh, con uh, compressor. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna remove this uh, com uh, compressor. This is four bolts. Disconnect the clutch. I got a new one and uh, there's a oil drain here uh, this guy is it's uh, filled with uh, oil but the the kit had the the different uh, oil and the seller recommended to uh, uh, drain the original oil and they put the uh, oil that came with the kit so I did that <sighs> And this guy has a clutch or uh, connector this side. So this is a little bit of problem. You have to uh, work on the connector, uh, original connector position that uh, shifted a little bit, but it works. Okay, then connect the clutch. Okay, all right, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna put the new belt. Okay, I'm gonna tighten the tensioner. Okay, I think it's good. And then these two screws okay and comparing these two dryers this is old one 
this is new one old one has a window that's good so i'm supposed to put this sensor on here okay. so remove this and we're gonna put the new one in there This was actually, this goes to the host. Okay. Tiny threads, huh? And o ring. So, tiny threads, probably this. So, it's opposite, huh? Okay, I think I, this is ready to be put on. Okay, new dryer. Okay, all right. And before I forget, I'm gonna put the connector. Yeah, again, I think the connector is the opposite side huh that's really bad i don't think i can reach this maybe i'm gonna move this around Okay, I put the new o-ring on this guy. I'll go the tubing under this, the main power cable. Okay, and tighten this against the bad guy. This is a tricky part and maybe the leak leak port. And when I put this guy. Oh, when I tighten one, I loosen the other. So what I have to do is tighten this enough. This guy in first. And then this picking didn't have an O ring, so it's I have to check the leak. Okay. It's gonna work fine. All right. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this guy. Again, this is O-ring seal, so it doesn't need to be super tight. Okay, I'm gonna put this low pressure hose. That is the original one. All right, good. Then I can put this water tank back on. D, D means the discharge for high pressure. I wash my hands and I'm gonna put the a little bit of this oil on the o-ring seal so I'll put like this the o-ring in here and then put it in. it has to be this to the 
section. Okay, so it has enough. Yeah, it's better to be like this. the o-ring for the suction line Again. suction line suction line gonna be like this uh, fit here no problem okay Okay, good. All right. Okay. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay, so this part is done, this part is done. Okay. Okay, all lines are connected. 